So he'll know my he'll know my pain of being locked in a shed. Kenny, I'm drawing on our past history. Please help me. And Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. It used to be a ski lodge, obviously. So also, I have a soft spot for beards. I don't know why. Some power from that wind turbine out front. I mean, you guys have seen my Arthur Morgan. Well, that was a mustache, but still. Penny, Kenny upgraded from mustache to beard man. Exception. It's funny. Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans too. Well, I don't know. Is he urban like Lee? Like you thought? You assumed? Please make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my. Karen. Thanks. I don't know. I don't trust you with that rifle. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun. These down. people are offering you beans. Kenny. Will you vouch for these people, Clam? No. <laughs> Instantly. You tell me they're good, then I'm us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool. Oh my god. Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. No, I can't speak for everybody. For everyone. I'm looking at you, Karen. Luke will remember that. I remember the shed. Back. It's their home. The shed was six days ago. I'm not gonna forget that. Besides, Pete is dead. Pete was cool. Dad, look. A Christmas tree. Not now. I, Clem will remember this. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Aww. Like, haha, I have an in. I know this dude. It's like, now you are looking to me for help. Kind of wish you didn't put me in a shed, huh? Oh, my backpack. Oh, my knife. You all follow me. I'll show you where you can sleep. Oh, Kenny, please. We need to catch up. Because last we saw Kenny from season one, he and Lee were trying to save Ben, who fell down from, like, a second floor and got impaled on, like, metalwork. And, like, we lost track of Kenny in the alleyway, and there were, like, there were a bunch of zombies. But we didn't see him die. We didn't see a body. Can I hug you again? I missed somebody. Like somebody I knew. See Lee walk up next. Oh. As we're like two peas in a pod. Like Kenny knew Lee got bit. We chopped his arm off. Hard not to think about it, you know. Oh, I could say the same for Duck. Hmm. He saved me. I knew it. We super murdered that stranger. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, you did kind My of abandon son. him in this time of need. That is true. Yeah. I did take care of Duck when he couldn't. Him. So, where'd you end up? Around. I was with Krista Omid. Like, why would I lie to him? Omid. Oh. Another body count to Krista add on my, my list. These guys caught us. She's gone. Is she gone or gone gone? Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm no, sorry, you put me in a shed, Kenny. I could have found you sooner. But everything. Krista said you were dead. What's going on with that? You were dead. I am. It's a lot of that going around. Everybody's dead and everybody's alive. <laughs> Nobody stays dead except for Uncle Ben. I mean, so even Bucky dead. came back. For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. <laughs> turned into a damn cluster. Yeah. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short. You made sure Ben didn't turn. Real lucky. Spent a long time. The creators decided they wanted you to come back, so you got real lucky. So I don't know if you consider it an allegory. It's not like not an allegory, but it's it's like. Do you want to hold on to the past or just like move towards the future, I guess? It's like we have a shared history. Or at least Kenny and Lee did. But now I'm Clem. He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. 
We now have a captive. Could use a hand outside. We've got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Plans? I put them to work. With dinner. I can do this. I can help this man. This seems like an easy enough task. All right, Walt. Hey, Clementine. Settling. Hello, in. Walt. Yeah. Thanks. I guess. It's better than a shed. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? Sure. I guess. It's so beans. Are you interrogating me, old man? Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. But Kenny, um. He never slows down. We're old friends. We're old friends. I guess he's a friend. He's an adult. He's an old man. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we met him like the, not the first day it happened, but like pretty soon after that. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't oh, you're a teacher. Growing up in the middle of teach me stuff. Teach. Um. Everyone underestimates me. Even you. That hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. I don't want to show my hand this soon. Do not give me homework. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Okay. Um, what is it? What is this? Just a whole bunch of beans. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peach beans. Peaches and beans. It's all we yeah. Got. Oh God! Imagine having to eat nothing but a giant it's pot of peaches and beans. <gasps> no, that girl doesn't look like me. But also now we know that these people are uh, somewhat not in cahoots, but they have some connection to the man that we know from the bridge based on those cans of beans. At least it would be safe to assume. So I need to investigate. Pick up CD. Cousin oh, butterfly. October 13th, 1998. <laughs> I could put it in there. I don't know if this would is something that Twitch could strike me on for music copyright. So I'm going to leave it. But I'm taking... Oh, it's not even in my inventory. All I had is a lighter. Alright, well, time to investigate. I'm going to leave the CD thing there. Look at dinner table. Reminds me of school. Oh, bathrooms. Ski shop. Can I go to the bathroom? i wash up. Wash this blood out of my stuff. And my hands and face. Hair. Guess not. Look at this Christmas tree. Is it Christmas time? song you're humming. Wood King Wenceslas. I have seen one of these since. What's it about? Since the before times. that brings food to I'm gonna leave them talk. King and a servant march all night through. Oh! Duck. Storm is very strong. What a funny little guy. After a long time, it gets so cold that the sun can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. What's this? My footsteps scoot my page. Tread Meep. them boldly. Thou shalt find the Lone Pine Winter Park Trail Map. Blood less coldly. I don't get it. Just a look at. It's not like I can put it in my inventory. I'm gonna look at the fireplace though. Can be good for you too. But the servant wouldn't have been out there in the first place if the king hadn't made him. <laughs> Good point. Just listening to Sarita talking to Sarah about being like a good Samaritan and also being like the cause of all that pain and suffering. Okay, Sarita, what's going on? Tell me, I need to interrogate you. Take this and string them up over there. Who are you? What is your deal? How do you know Kenny? It must be incredible to see him again. It is it's surprising. Well, he's so different now. Yeah, he has a beard now. How'd you meet? I'm interested. How'd you meet Kenny? I found. Was it at a boat convention? If you can believe it. Pulled up. You should have seen his beard then. <laughs> Perfect. Giant, big old bushy hobo beard. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Right, I'm gonna walk away. I guess we're done talking. <gasps> Goodbye, Sarita. I need to find a tree topper. It's crazy. Why would they like, this is a task that I could do. I'm a small child. This is easy. What's going on? We're in the woods. We gotta be out of the woods. We're in the woods. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? 
Yes. They're the villains, the antagonists. I saw some people in the valley. I did. I saw lights. Way down there. How? I saw lights. They're very bright lights. Which way did they go? Back I don't know. Woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. You can leave at dawn. I'm sticking around. Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? He wanted me to help him make beans. We have to be careful. They could be hiding. Somewhere. Um, we talked about Kenny. We also mentioned someone else. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yes, he's the boat man. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to You're the staying in the shed, all of you. you Turnabout's fair play. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I like how he says they trust you. Like he's trying, like Carlos is trying to, like get me to use their trust to their advantage, and I'm like, no. You're on your own, people. I could talk to the Karen here, but no, you're on your own. Look at this box. <gasps> Tree Tapper. She mentioned an angel, so I'm going with an angel to make Sarah happy. No, wait, no. I didn't mean to put it back. Pick it up. Pick it up, up, up. Go to the tree, Clem. Put the angel on there. Now grab the star and use it as a weapon. Like an angel. So cool. Sarah will remember that. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. I have I saved I Christmas. Here. This place is and ruined a lot of other holidays. <laughs> Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, so, Walter's the dude who's making the beans. We haven't seen Matthew. Matthew, he's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. Where is Where's Matthew? Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. I kind of have a feeling I know where Matthew is. He took a long walk off a short pier. Does Kenny seem different to you? Yeah, he has a beard. And, well, it's the same old Kenny. I haven't been around him enough. Bad days, like everyone else. Um, Lately, I get the feeling. He seems a little different. He does seem. He's got that beard. I remember. In what way? Then again, we have been apart from like at least sixteen months. Sarita will remember this. Busy. Kenny. We've been talking about you. Great. I got it. Girl chat. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. There's old Kenny. <laughs> That's the Kenny I know. He couldn't lift a fly. I don't know. His name Larry, maybe. For dinner, Clementine. Okay. I need to see if everybody's ready for dinner. For all these beans. Oh, I think I misunderstood. I thought she said he could he couldn't hurt a fly, but like. I guess she meant that when she found him, he was weak. And now the beard has made him strong. Can I... What am I doing? Where is everybody? I'm trying to go downstairs. Where are you people? Where is every... They went... She said go find your friends. I'm trying to find them. I don't know where they are. Oh, beans. Look at the beans. Oh, peaches. Peaches. Where are the beans, then? Oh, these peaches have made me nervous. Peaches have revved up my anxiety. Where, oh god, where is everybody? Because, like, Sarita just said, go find your friends to let them know. Do I have to go back up the stairs? Like, I haven't seen Nick or Luke. Where are they? Oh, no. Anybody over here? No, no one's here. I've lost everybody. Everyone's outside. I guess they're upstairs. Alright, time to go. Karen, food's ready. Are you okay? I don't care. Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? I don't know. Everything's so fucked up. It's Everything's gonna be, it's not gonna be easy. I know it's gonna be hard. 
but at the same time, I already feel a little less. Why are you confiding in this eleven-year-old child? No what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. We did not get off on the right foot. You wanted me to starve. You wanted me to like be locked in a shed. No. It's okay. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Yes, it is, isn't it? Are you okay? Game, stop making me try and feel- like, stop trying to make me feel bad. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. Oh my god, exactly! Why are you asking me? I won't say anything. I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. Like, why does my- like, why does me talking have any weight on her whole situation? Well, everyone, dinner is. Oh, I guess I had to talk to her. All right then. I have now unlocked the path for beans. Oh no, who do I sit with? The cool kids and the nerds. You okay, man? Yeah. No, he's not okay. He's lost his whole family. Also, he murdered a dude that these people most likely know. Oh. I'm set with Kenny. <laughs> See you, losers. So I have a feeling, like, based on who you sit with, it's like, it's season one. Like, were you and Kenny on good terms? And does that follow through to season two? But it's also like, I've only known that group of people for a short amount of time. It seem nice? Yeah, well, gators seem nice too. Um, bite your damn arm off. Kenny. I don't know yet. They locked me in the shed. I mean, granted, they did kind of take me in. It's a while before you know a man for real. But like, yeah, you gotta kill a man to really let someone know who you are. It's like sawing logs. Small legend. They're all nerd adults. Cleanse the cool kids. Exactly. I've made this table cooler by sitting down. By the mere presence of me. This table is now cool. People are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Kenny. Absolutely. Like, this is a wonderful plan. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. This is like Like, look, they have a house. They have beans and peaches. tell you. I actually know somebody? Like, thank you. What's up, Luke? And Nick? Don't eat from that bowl, that's not your bowl. Hey, hope you like the food. Oh, it's, it's all you- it's, it's all you great. have. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Nick, that's not your bowl! You're eating out of, like, Matthew's bowl- no, Walt's bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny. So it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. This so, is all awkward conversation. Time. Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. Oh, it's the plan. Everything's going up north. Wellington? I did, actually. Krista spoke about it. The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? Yeah. Oh, is this another boat plan, Kenny? Going there. It's supposed to be a big But the fact that Chris and I were actually planning on going up there does seem like a good option. Problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land. He was a fisherman. So the walkers get He hunted like dolphin, if I remember correctly. Listen, vanilla ice. I don't know what, <laughs> what? He, is. he doesn't it's look anything like vanilla ice. No Kenny, you're old. Fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, oh my god. Oh! We're not staying. She's staying. <laughs> I am staying. Also, don't fight. Children. Children. Please, there's no need for this. Exactly. Thank you, Walter. Had a long day. Please eat. You're all a bunch of children, and this is me, an 11 year old, saying this. Ask me that can, duck. Oh! Duck? It's like that. Who's Duck? Oh. Kenny. Kenny. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Oh, God, thank you. Yes, get me out of here. <laughs> 
Oh, leave this sad man with his beard and his memories. Hey, Mo. Welcome in. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. How have you been? We're having a rough time. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about that. Walter, thank you for getting me out of that awkward situation. I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. Oh, thank God, you actually know the pain I'm going through. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Thank you, Walter. I appreciate your your trying to help me. Like any machine, you don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Grease the wheels. I want to stay with you and Kenny. Grease lightning. I want to stay here in a nice house with beans and peaches. And someone I actually know and have history with. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It kind of is. Oh, you're an optimist. More political now than they ever were before. Why, who you vote for? The zombies? <laughs> All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize, and use our heads. I hope you remember this in the next five minutes. A thinking animal. Steinbeck. Have you read him? No, I'm 11. I was like not like eight or nine when everything went to shit. quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. I think I've already met him. As long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? I'll hold you to this, Steinbeck. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I work in a series of gray. Nothing is black and white for me. Is there something you want to I'm a huge coward. I take the easy way out. Um You can talk to me, Clint. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. People are chasing us. I'm gonna be honest. I think I already told you people are chasing them. Well people are chasing them. They're not chasing me. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey kids, what are you two talking? Will it? We're talking about Steinbeck. History. Being from Florida, I would imagine I'm a socialist now. <laughs> Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just in Russia, you bite zombies. Hits. Give us a hand. Sure. Oh, Mo. Oh, you have the Wolf Among Us. Is that worth playing? I haven't actually played that game. I don't know. <gasps> Sup? Recognizable character from 400 Days. Bonnie. Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? Oh, you're kind of a scumbag. I know what your deal is. We're starving. Oh, you're lying, Bonnie. Uh, I played 400 days. Miss... Bonnie. Are you lying? Well, I don't know. So that's why in 400 days, Bonnie is automatically going to the encampment. Then we'll have to the, to um, right, the camp that Tavia had. How much damage? Check for weapons. Check her for weapons. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm hard. <laughs> but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. So yeah, when we played 400 Days yesterday, I did manage to get everybody to leave camp to go with Tavia. Got plenty. You stay put. But like, like I said, Bonnie automatically goes because she does have a role in this season. But I know your deal. I'm looking at you. I have her. Clem doesn't know, but I know. Oh, you lying bitch. How old are you, sweetie? <laughs> Look at Clem and Ken were just staring at her. So I am 11, none but it's none your business. I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing by it, hun. Don't call me hun. I ain't your hun, friend. I ain't your friend, buddy. Oh, small as I think Wolf Among Us is pretty interesting. I'll have to get around to playing. I don't think I own it, though. This is too much. Don't mention Oh, it's a big old box. Walter, you just let people know that you have a lot to give up. I'll be going now. You should have given them like a small bag. It would have led them to believe that you didn't have a whole lot to begin with. Like there is generosity and then there's like overkill. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. I don't approve. Alright. I'm heading in. Heading in for those beans and peaches. 